Join us now as our Wizards Analyst and NBA Champion with the Spurs, Tony Massenburg. And Tony, Randy Whitman signs on for three more years on the Wizards bench. Is this the right move? I think considering what Randy's done, uh, particularly this season, and the fact that he's been here for the turnaround over the last couple of seasons, I think it was the right move. I think the fact that he was able to establish a good relationship with guys like Bradley Beal and John Wall in particular, I think the young developing talent on that team has a huge ceiling, and I think Randy understands that. More importantly, they believe in him. So all of those reasons in my mind uh, make me think that this is the right move for this organization. Is last year too small of a sample size? I mean, there were some rough years under Randy Whitman in the past. Yeah, I, I think the things that you, again, you have to look at the positives in the situation, and you have to look at whether or not guys are getting better. When you look at John Wall, there was significant growth in this game. When you look at Bradley Bill, significant growth. I think the Nettie, when healthy, was better for them this year than he was last year. So with the addition of Marching, hopefully they can re-sign him. Guys like Trevor Reza, they have depth on this team, but more importantly, they've got some veteran guys and they've got some young talent that are willing to buy into the right mindset of playing the game the right way. And they understand that that starts on the defensive end. And Randy is one of those coaches who believes that defense is the way you get it done. You touched on it there. What's the next priority for the Wizards this offseason? Got to re-sign Trevor Reza and most definitely got to re-sign Martin Gortat because big players, fours and fives in this league, particularly guys who embrace the role of, of playing the, the, the enforcer, the guy who sets the pick, the guy who gets guys open and sets, goes in and gets the rebounds and guards the other team's best defender. That's Martin Gortat. So you have to covet that skill set on your team if you're going to be competitive in this league. And also, when you look at Trevor Reza, for everything that he did on both ends of the court, shooting the ball exceptionally well and being the team's best perimeter defender. So it's very important that they re-sign these two guys. Let's talk about where the Wizards want to get to, the NBA Finals. Tony, correct me if I'm wrong, was Tim Duncan talking a little trash the other day? Hey, listen, Timmy's hot right now. Hot as fish grease, B. Mitchell. You know what I'm talking about. Timmy feels like he's... He was robbed somewhat of an opportunity last year, and he doesn't necessarily blame anybody in particular other than himself. He understands that he had an opportunity to close the game out for the Spurs. Manu Ginobili did not play well last year. It feels the exact same way. So it's very rare, as you know this, very rare when you get an opportunity to get back to a championship round and redeem yourself when you didn't have the outcome that you wanted the year before. So who are you taking? I'm going to go out on a limb, B. Mitch, and I know you're I know you're, you're laughing at me right now because you know where I'm going. But I'm going with the Spurs, not because of play for them, but simply because I think they have the deeper team, meaning they have more depth, they have more options on offense. I think the way that they play, the way that they slow the game down and execute in the offense, execute in the half-court offense better than anybody in the league, is the way playoff basketball typically goes. It's not so much up and down. I think they can slow the heat down enough to make them play their pace while executing and attacking them on the inside, which is where the heat are most vulnerable. So for all those reasons, no disrespect to LeBron James, I acknowledge him as the best in the world, but I think he has to do too much. I think D-Wade has to be at 110%, and I think there are not enough role players they didn't get better. Their role players didn't get better. I see San Antonio's role players getting better. And so I think that, because of the other people outside of the superstars, I give the edge to the Spurs. A couple of weeks ago, you were sitting in my chair right here. How'd that go for you? That's pretty good, b Mitch. Take a vacation anytime, man. Take a vacation anytime. I heard that the, the good weather all over the world right now, man. You can, you should go find a nice island somewhere. Keep the beer for a while. I don't forget about golf. Yeah, golf, man. Golf all you want to, man. Go find Tiger Woods. <laughs> Tony Massenburg, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks. <laughs> Not everything Randy Exel says has been popular since he came to college.